tumeamua kitu moja wakati rais alikuwa anapanga chama alituonyesha upendo ka ile kamati kubwa akatuletea mtoto wetu hapo mheshimiwa kawaya kama organizing secretary wa chama na tunajua viti hizo itakuja kuondokewa watu wafanye uchaguzi sisi tumeamua tutafanya uchaguzi wa heshima kujenga chama ya UDA ukambani tupate delegates kutoka Kitui delegates kutoka Machagos delegates kutoka Mkueni tumekubaliana the three low eastern region counties sisi wote the 60 delegates from those three counties who we'll put them in one basket and rally them behind our brother honorable kawaya enter for the party yes. 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 because come 2027 elections we got 20% of the presidential vote in ukambani no this time we are not going for anything less than 50 but also we will have 70% of the presidential vote in ukambani but also we will have a seat in the national executive committee of the party our brother should be there where are we as a country we found a situation where we are collecting 2.1 trillion out of the 2.1 trillion we are paying china 1.4 trillion as a debt we remain with 700 billion out of the 700 billion the wage bill for kenya which is now the money ya kulipa walimu ya kulipa nurses ya kulipa kila mtu it is 600 billion so you are left with 100 billion out of the 100 billion remaining county governments want a share of 376 billion so you give them the 100 then they are, we are negative 276 you go borrow 276 you give them now you start borrowing to give kenya the national government that is the situation we have found i want to take you back to our forefathers when you were pigania uhuru sio lazima sio kwa wao wa enjoy uhuru lakini kwa watoto wetu if we were to continue to borrow in that magnitude na nimesikia wengine wanasema si bado inakopwa yes inakopwa kwa kiwango kiko chini zaidi lakini kama tungeendelea na hiyo mtindo unapata tomorrow because you have already borrowed 276 ya kupatia counties na ingine na ingine na ingine so so that the following year you are paying china 1.5 not 1.4 again so now we are to make hard decisions ya kusaidia kenya kwa niaba pia ya watoto wa kesho so that they don't find a country that is already auctioned na naomba tu kama viongozi kwa sababu i know you are the people who can carry this agenda msidanganywe na mtu anasimama ati kwa mkutano anasema oh cost of living imepanda imepanda juu sana because that is a popular thing mambo siasa ya opposition na kuanga rais ni kuongea bila kufanya mtu akisimama anasema cost of living iko juu mteremshe mwambie kwanza tuambie tuteremsha namna gani wewe ukiwa hapo hata kama ni kwa mkutano ya mazishi mwambie can you tell us how tell us how and the only way now we can move forward is being united we are a small, a small group we cannot afford to be divided yes yeah? our group is small we cannot afford to be divided yes. because it is this small number we want to build up when we tried uchaguzi kwa sababu mimi nime work na William Ruto throughout uchaguzi ya kwanza ile ilikuwa na na ule muungano wetu uru Kenyatta i think hapa tulipata 4% ya pili ikakuja kasonga songa ikakuwa i think 7% or so. Ya tatu ya William Ruto mkampatia 22%. Where that 22% came from, you can get 60%. And there is no other team. There is no other team. This is the team. This is the team. Sometimes we take a lot of time to fight over non issues. And you know in leadership hata viongozi pale wakiona mna chapana chapana na vitu aziko they get busy with the people who are united a divided team cannot even agree on a simple thing like what are your pri- priority projects kwa sababu mkiwa huu group kidogo group nyingine huyu anakuja na hii huyu anasema hiyo hatutaki huyu anakuja na hii rais anauliza mnataka aje amjui mnataka nini so it is not an option 
we must agree that His Excellency the President has no other team other than yourselves, yeah? 